Hey, this is Betty, Fancy Grandma. I'm going to make you another video. I hadn't made you one in a while. I've been out working in my yard, but it's cold today, so I'm not going to be out working. But I'm, I want to show you what I've got. I've got about a half of a red bell pepper and just a little bit of red yellow bell pepper. And I've got about a half of an onion in this skillet. I'm going to put it on to heat cook. Well, I want mine cooked. Now in this pan, I've got a half a pound of hamburger. Put about that many breadcrumbs in it. And get that all worked together. This is gonna be one of the best hamburgers you ever ate. It's even good if it's cold. I don't like cold hamburgers, but I'll eat these right out of the refrigerator. I'm gonna break an egg in it too. I want one egg in it. Get me okay, I'm gonna put some salt and pepper in it. I hope you can see what I'm doing. So okay, that's salt and pepper. And I'm just gonna fry these peppers and onions until they're just a little bit, until they get soft. If you like my video, please subscribe and hit the notification bell and you'll be notified every time I make a new one. But anyway, this is what we're, we're going to do. We're just going to put that breadcrumb in here in one egg. Work it all up together here. And I've got a half a pound of hamburger. You can you can move, use much pepper or onions. You can put any kind of seasoning you like in this. I just want salt and pepper because I like salt and pepper in my things. As soon as that pepper and onion gets done a little bit, I'm going to put that in here. This will be one of the best hamburgers you've ever ate. I dropped my iPad and cracked the screen. I hope it don't show up on my videos. We'll find out. Okay, I'm gonna dump these in here. Gonna mix that all together. But you can put any kind of spices you like in here. I just like onions and uh, peppers in mine. But then I'm going to make my patties out of this. Smash them out there in that pan. This should make three pretty good sized patties. And just cook them as long as you like. I'm not, I don't really know exactly how long you should cook them, but I just check mine if I think they look done enough for, for me, then that's what I do. But these will be so delicious. I'm going to wash my hands. i got a mess on me. these sit here and cook until they're done. That onion's kind of black in there. But these are so good. I want to show you what one of my subscribers got me. One of my subscribers got me this. Because she knows I've got chickens. Thank you, Kim, for my 
neat niche towel. These will probably have to cook about seven minutes, maybe, I don't know, maybe a little longer. We'll just have to see. I just keep crumb bread up, my crumb crumbs in this jar, and I keep them in that jar so I've always got them handy. And I, I always have my best bowl already washed so I can have them handy. just eat these on a plate with I put some cheese or something on them that's the way I usually eat them but you can put them on a bun and eat them on a bun too but I usually just eat them right on the on a plate because I don't eat much bread see how good those looks and when they get done, they'll be so delicious. I probably cook them more about medium. I don't know what the temperature is, but I think it's about medium. front of it so I hope it don't show up too bad in my video. But just let them cook until you think they're done and when they get done just put them in a plate. And you can, like I said, you can eat them on a bun, you can eat them off a plate. You can eat with your meal, or you can take them out of the refrigerator and eat them cold, because they're really, really good that way. Anyway, if you like my videos, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. But I've been out working in my yard and in my garden because I planted onions, and I've got my flower beds cleaned out, and I'm going to get ready to mulch them, so I've been working outside really hard the last few days. Well, you have a blessed day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.